Hi guys, we have another unboxing. Now, as you can see, this has come from Draken Watches. I was lucky enough to get to review one of their uh, pre-production models a uh, couple of months ago, really, and it was great. I was really impressed by it. So I'm lucky enough this time to get another. Uh, quick look at this paperwork. Um, it's going on about some of the changes which will be for the final production model. Now to be fair, this is only an unboxing. So I'm just gonna look at this and just first impressions really and see what we think. Now, yet again, we've got one of these rather cool um, pouches which they come in, which I think are kind of, kind of funky and cool, very tactical looking. Now as we open this up, here we go. We've got the same uh, system we had on the last one, which was uh, similar to this. Ooh, there we go. This is a Tregea, I believe. Um, it's kind of funky, just off the bat. It looks, feels heavy, actually. Let's get this off here. Um, it is kind of weird and funky. I love how they do their little logo on there. Oh, I tell you what, guys, this has got some weight to it. Let's have a little bit of a closer look at this. Yeah, this has definitely got a bit more heft to it. Uh, the last model I reviewed from theirs was a titanium model. Let's give us a little bit of a wind. I believe um, the Tregain GMT this model is. And they already have um, the standard model, which isn't a GMT. And that houses a simple Seiko NH35, I believe. Now this one, they've gone a bit more um, upmarket, a bit more premium with this one, as this houses a Solita, so a proper Swiss movement goes into this. And to be fair, it's kind of, just off, off the bat, it looks really nice. It, I, you know, weight shouldn't really be a factor in determining if a watch um, is expensive or not, or feels a quality, but you can't help but think, when it's got a bit of heft to it, I always think it just feels impressive. We have a similar case design to what we had on the last one as well. I do like speed blasted finish and the way put Draken on the side there. Um, yeah, they've got their little logo on the side. If I'm right, it probably does that party trick it did on the last one. Yeah, it illuminates. I do like that. So no, um, the actual watch itself, quick look at it. We have a rather nice sapphire crystal there which blends seamlessly with the bezel. Let's try a quick look at that dial. All very nice. I like the applied markers, which give it a little bit more hint of that premiumness. I'm not sure premiumness is a word actually, but anyway, um, yeah, looks quite nice. I like the applied markers. The hands look quite interesting. I like that. Even like the fact that hands look to be a matte finish. But I say, we'll go more into that when we actually get to the review, the proper full review, because I want to get this on my wrist for it and, you know, actually see how it performs and, you know, how I actually find it feels over some time rather than just now. Let's do a quick bezel feel. Okay. Very positive. Bit of back, tiny bit of back play, but I say I haven't read the paperwork yet, so I don't know if, um, what they're going to do if this will be the final uh, production version or not. I love the way they've done the um, knurling on the bezel, how it's gone from zero to, um, you know, like probably one mil under at the top. That's a nice touch. Um, bracelet wise, let's zoom out a little bit. Nice. Looks like a, a, a very sort of like engineer two uh, style to it. The clasp, yeah, nice, solid push button, but we still have a keeper on there. Plenty of adjustment. Let's see if it will actually go on my wrist. As I say, I haven't sized it or anything. I'm still wearing that Zin, but I've gone back to the bracelet at the moment, so I keep swapping it around. I'll put that with Bob over there. Unfortunately, he hasn't got a watch on him at the moment. We'll have to sort that out. Um, now, I don't know anything about the specs of this watch yet or anything, so... Um, I can't say much. Now, it isn't sized, so I'll have to size that um, later on before I do a review. 
but I've got seven and a quarter inch wrist and I think that looks pretty damn cool actually. That is very nice. I do like some of his watches. Um, they seem to have this kind of real sort of like um, rugged feel about them. So no, but yeah, stay tuned and I'll do a proper review of this and we'll see what we think of it. But so far, first impressions, I like it. I mean, it does look quite funky and cool. So I'll get it on the wrist. We'll do um, time graphic stuff and see how it actually performs. So anyway, okay, all the best and stay safe, guys. And I'll see you at the full review. Okay, take care. Bye.